This is one of those stories that's just too good to be true. On a daily basis, the officers are interacting with deer and birds and squirrels and all kinds of stuff, but this is definitely the first parakeet. We came in as a team up to the house. One of the officers was walking up and the bird landed on his shoulder. And every time they tried to catch him, you know, on this side, he went to that side, and then this side, and he went to that side. The bird liked to chew on the badges. And so I flicked my badge a little bit, enticed him to come down on my, on my shoulder. I was able to entice him with a little cracker to be able to get in the wildlife cage that we had. So it really became like a foundation-wide effort to you know, reunite the bird with the family. And Monticello really came together, posted it on social media. You know, we got at least four replies from you know, people who knew Pam and relatives and all that. I got goosebumps. We were like, no, that's impossible. He can't fly 50 plus miles, but he did. With all the predatory birds and animals and just against all odds to make it here to Monticello. As far as birds go, he's definitely an overachiever. We're just really happy that, you know, the day has come and we can reunite Kiwi with Pam, his owner. Kiwi! Kiwi! Kiwi, what you doing? Are you a good boy? Did mommy kiss? Oh my gosh. It's okay. Oh my God, thank you so much. We know that Jefferson owned four mockingbirds, you know, so it's pretty fitting at least that, you know, Kiwi decides to land of all places in Monticello. Didn't Thomas Jefferson love birds? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Kiwi knew that. <laughs> all of us didn't, but Kiwi knew it. And we're just really grateful for everybody, you know, both in the foundation and, and for everybody that shared the story on social media. I am so happy and so thankful for all the wonderful people that made this happen. <laughs> It's a good day. We'll have to come back up here. He just can't get out of the cage. <laughs> All in a day's work. <laughs>